Hello everyone, so first of all I want to apologize for my video upload schedule, it's been terrible. I was on holiday in August, I struggled to find places to record the video so that's why the setting was a bit different but hopefully things will get better from now on. I'm determined to go back to my normal schedule so fingers crossed. <laughs> I know it also means that my um, Japanese progress update video series is a little bit delayed so it used to be at the beginning of the month and now it's in the middle of the month. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything about it. I might just stick to what it is now and just ignore it. It's not really a big deal I guess but I'll see about that. Anyway so let's get started with today's menu. What I'm going to talk about today is essentially RTK so remembering the kanji or I also called it the challenge or the 2200 kanji you know whatever works for you but that's the same thing. And after that I will talk about graded readers that I've been using very recently in in Japanese to practice my reading skills. If you follow me on Twitter you already know that I completed RTK so I've learned 2200 kanji so I'm very excited about this because I finally did it. Honestly it's so draining. Some days it would take me about an hour and a half or two hours to both learn new kanji and also review the kanji I've learned before so that was extremely time consuming. I really think it was a test to see if I was really motivated to learn Japanese. Thankfully it does get much easier once you finish learning the new kanji because then you only have to do the reviews. At the moment I only spend 30 minutes a day reviewing the kanji so it's much much better than before but I'm kind of disappointed because before completing RTK I thought that the reviews after a month since it's been a month uh, since I completed uh, all the kanji I thought the reviews would be much slower I thought there would be around 100 a day or something like that but actually at the moment there are around 170 or 180 so it's still kind of high it is getting a little bit lower but it's still kind of of annoying to spend so much time doing so many reviews but fingers crossed maybe next month it'll be more around 140 or maybe 120. Obviously I will let you know how this progresses next month. If you're watching this video and you've gone through RTK already I would be actually very interested in knowing how your reviews are doing you know how many reviews have you got after a month or more depending how long ago you finished it because I just want to know if this is normal what I'm going through or if it's something that I need to sort of think about. I don't know, just let me know. I'm just very curious, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> In this video I also wanted to reply to Imi Queen's comments from my Japanese progress video from last month because she asked very interesting questions and I'm guessing other people will have similar questions. So the first question she asked me was how I was reviewing the kanji and if I was doing any writing practice at all. So the way I've been doing it so far was that I go from kanji to the English keyword. So Anki will give me a card and uh, with a kanji on it and I have to give the English word that goes with it. I haven't really focused on writing at all. I don't think it's very important for now. I think it's something that I will be doing later but not now. At the moment I just feel like I want to focus a little bit less on kanji so I will still do my reviews but I want to focus on going through my textbooks and also using graded readers which I will talk about in a minute because um, I think if you only focus on kanji then your actual Japanese doesn't progress and I don't want to spend five hours a day doing Japanese. I think I'm aiming for about an hour, an hour and a half maximum of Japanese every day and I think that's not bad to, for now but I think for now that's as much time as I'm willing to uh, put in for my um, studying of Japanese. Then Emi also asked me if I go through the stories in my head when I want to recognize the kanji. I have to say that often I do, most of the time I do, but sometimes I tend to be a bit impatient and just sort of give the answer and show the kanji and see if I got it right or not. And I think that's kind of a bad thing because some kanji I get wrong even though if I had taken some more time to think about it I would have gotten it right. And I think in language learning there's always something you need to improve and in my case it's definitely my lack of patience. <laughs> I tend to want to do things very quickly because to be honest reviewing the kanji is not extremely exciting even though it's only for half an hour so I tend to want to do it faster but I definitely need to remind myself that the learning is not in the speed of how you do things but really in the actual process but you know I'll try to work on that. <laughs> Finally, Emmy asked me if I could feel an immediate impact on my reading comprehension since I've completed RTK. I think to some extent I have. There are two sorts of areas in which I feel like RTK has helped me with kanji. 
The first thing is that kanji don't really look like random symbols anymore. They sort of become more friendly to me. And what I mean is that when you look at a language with a different writing system, if you don't know the system, it just looks sort of random and your brain doesn't really process anything. It doesn't know how to interpret anything. But since I've completed RTK, I feel like I have more of a connection with the kanji because I know all of them, not all, but you know what I mean. I know a lot of them. So my brain actually can focus on each of them and trying to figure out what they mean. I mean, remembering what they mean rather. Um, so I do feel that there's this connection now with me and Kanji. I hope that makes sense what I'm trying to explain. And the second thing I've noticed RTK helps me with is when I'm reading. So at the moment I've been using this uh, graded readers series and it's very simple stories. Um, it's quite basic, but essentially it's a nice way for for me to see kanji in context. And sometimes if there's um, a word that I don't know, by looking at the kanji, I can sort of either guess the word, because um, you know the vocab is quite basic anyway, or at least I can have an idea of the general meaning of what the sentence is about. So I think it really helps with uh, understanding and guessing, or working out rather, the meaning of the words, uh, especially words that you didn't know before. And because I'm able to do that, I can recognize a kanji and know the reading of that kanji based on the word it's about, if that makes sense. I hope I make sense in this video. <laughs> Obviously, I still struggle with recognition a little bit, so it's not like I recognize the kanji instantly. I sometimes need to think for about a good 10 seconds to remember the kanji, but I'm hoping that over time, my recognition will be better and better. So yeah, that's it for RTK for today. And then I would like to sort of move on to the graded readers, which I already mentioned just now. And uh, they are essentially this series of uh, graded readers um, they look like this. <laughs> Let me show you what they look like. Um, this one is level one. There is level zero, but um, I've been recommended not to really go for them because I'm not really a beginner in Japanese anymore. I'm not intermediate or anything, but I have quite a bit of vocab now, so I don't need to go from the very basics because I'm guessing I don't know, I didn't look at them, but I'm guessing the level zero books would be something like Ohayo gozaimasu, konnichiwa, and like that kind of stuff. So obviously I'm kind of above that now. <laughs> I'm above that. But uh, yeah, so they look like this. I hope you can sort of see what that looks like, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, and they have quite a lot of pictures. So it's not a lot of text, uh, it's quite basic, but that's exactly what I need right now because I think when you start reading in Japanese, it can be intimidating if there's too much text. And also my goal is to really focus on recognizing the kanji, uh, the common ones, the easy ones, and try to familiarize myself with their readings. So, so far, these graded readers have been really good. Um, I'm not really able to give a more uh, complete opinion because I need to sort of spend more time with them, but I will probably do a video, um, a separate video later on, once I've um, gone through all the books at least once or twice, so I can give a more informed opinion. Because, you know, on my channel, I like to really test products properly before I review them, because to me, it doesn't make sense to try something for an hour and then give a review. Like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't think it works well like that. <laughs> Hold on, my battery is running out. And I'm back. So as I was saying, I'm really glad that this uh, Japanese graded reader series is easy because um, what I need to do at the moment is to just focus on the kanji. You know, basic kanji is the really everyday sort of kanji because these uh, stories focus on everyday situations. And yeah, I like that because if I was doing something with way more text, with rarer kanji, I would not really be prioritizing what I'm learning. It would just be sort of a mess, really, and it means also that I can focus on small information, something that's more manageable, rather than using something that would have way too much information and would just be so tiring. As usual, I hope I'm making sense. And finally, to conclude this video, I've been uh, using Japanese for busy people again, so I'm trying to get back on track to where I was, but unfortunately doing RTK means that I forgot a lot of what I've learned, and I... It's okay, I think it happens, you know, it's not the end of the world. I know I can pick it up again. I think I will even use another deck because I found a deck which is based on Japanese for busy people, so all the vocab. And I'm thinking of doing maybe 10 words a day, starting from probably today, actually. And I don't think it will be too difficult because all the vocab, normally, I would have encountered in the book. So it shouldn't be a challenge so much, it's just a way to revise the vocab. And all the vocab in the book is going to be basic vocab, so useful vocab. So 
it's in my interest, I think, to do this uh, deck. And decks have worked so far for me, so maybe that's what I should do a bit more of. I don't know, we'll see next month how that's gone down for me, I guess. <laughs> so that is it for today. I will see you later and bye.